My name is Mark Patrick Hederman, and I'm a monk of Glenstall Abbey in Limerick of the alternative variety. <laughs> and we need to talk about Ireland. We all know that the last year, that the last decade, that the last century has been traumatic for many of us. And there is little point in trying to blame, name, or tame what we have been through. The past will have to be dealt with, certainly. Oblivion is not an option. But there is no future in the past as we have experienced it. The solution lies in a shared vision for an inclusive future. Building a platform towards that future requires imagination rather than memory. Only imagination could sketch a possibility for seven billion people living together on this planet. We need to do more than talk about Ireland. We need to get over it, get on with it. The future is not something out there which we step into as an already designed space. The future does not exist until we make it happen. The future is what we build together, what we create together, and that can be an ugly, vulgar extension of what we already are, or it can be an invitation to the reality of what we might become. We need to talk about Ireland. There is too much hatred, violence, anger, and recrimination. We need to turn ourselves inside out. Ireland of the welcomes must start by welcoming every aspect of ourselves. There is too much about ourselves that we have condemned in the past and projected onto others. We are not all sweetness and light. There is a dark side which we have to examine and we have to incorporate. Many of our writers have tried to show us this other side of ourselves and they have been rejected and condemned. It is time to acknowledge that this thing of darkness is an essential part of ourselves. We must rid ourselves of feelings of inferiority and insecurity. We have as much right to be at the table of the future as anybody else. And we don't have to establish ourselves by acting the Egypt or by standing at the corner, cap in hand, waiting for a tip. We need to grow up, get real, and articulate accurately what we stand for. The future is in our hands. It is a precious gift which we can squander, abuse, exploit, or distort. Quite obviously, there are forces working and pressures surrounding us which diminish our autonomy and lessen our responsibility. However, it is still possible for those of us who live on this island in the second decade of the 21st century to shape our future as we see fit. And we have a great deal to offer. 
especially in the realm of imagination and in the area of culture. Culture, as opposed to national identity, is not something that we stake out meticulously and guard jealously. It is something we share generously and magnanimously. And spirituality is an essential aspect of who we are. The Irish people have always been close to God. Iskira kaur de no andaris. The help of God is closer than any door. There is no future for us without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And let us be certain of this. No amount of ill treatment or betrayal on the part of churches or anybody else can prevent the Holy Spirit of God from engaging with us and offering to lead our way. Today, if you should hear this voice, harden not your heart. Thank you.